All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, uh, had an interesting sleep last night. Didn't actually sleep till two a.m. because I was playing Age of Empires too. I was trying. I was trying to beat the last mission on the uh, French campaign. It's like so hard. It's like you know, the, it's like the British are like just so overwhelmingly powerful in that game. <laughs> so. Uh, yeah, so I didn't sleep till 2 a.m., but then even when I went to bed, it just kept waking up every couple hours. Like, I was just so full of energy and adrenaline. And then I also made sure not to eat too much crazy stuff yesterday, too. So my eating was on point. I also lifted weights yesterday, so I don't know. I just, just had a lot of energy. But anyway, I've decided that maybe all the problems I've been having with my game and coding is I'm just using all these stupid asshole plugins, when instead I should just trust myself and then just learn to actually code. So that's what I did, and it's just, like, so much easier, <laughs> uh, ironically enough. So I created my map. Things are working like it's supposed to, like, in the Zenba course that, you know, I recently took, right? I spent, like, what, one and a half, two months reading. And uh, now, you know, I'm building my uh, game. So, you know, my progression is, let's see, next I will be working... Hello everyone, and welcome to down shooting in Unity. So, because I already have the colliders, the guys moving around the map, and uh, I'm not falling through the gravity, right? Because that was the problem I was having with Playmaker. Uh, so every time I try to fix it, Playmaker get uh, was causing like a Unity conflict or something. It's like so annoying, so annoying. So anyway, I'm gonna have my character move around, shoot the top down 2D game. Then after that. Making uh, an RPG. That, the same guy, Brackies. He's like apparently the most popular. Well, let me show you. Is the most popular uh, Unity uh, coder teacher guy. So he's got some really good. Um, uh, he usually makes pretty good tutorials. So basically, I'm going to try to just go through this whole thing. I won't be doing everything here because obviously it's going to be custom made to my game. Uh, but I do need to know about interaction. So, like, you go up to an object and you can interact with the chest so that's how you get looting right looted chest or looted corpse right uh this one says making rp yeah i mean i don't know it says integration so i don't know what that is but that's probably pretty important uh items rpg and unity so that's obviously important obviously also making a, a ui that's gonna be core inventory code that's also gonna be important i'll probably i mean depending on what he teaches in this one you know i absolutely want to be like Shift click, alt click, because remember I was playing all beyond online before you know doing my daily video game maintenance thing, and like I was like I can't loot. I'm I'm not loot. It's like you know it was like I'm right clicking, I'm left clicking. It's not doing what I want, and it's like so counterintuitive because I was too busy playing Tarkov before or other or the UMMORPG 2D editor that I just got. I was like okay, I'm not using that shit anymore. And it's like ah, uh, like everyone's looting scheme is so so inconsistent and counterintuitive. Making an RPG in Unity, making an RPG in da, 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 um, stats, enemy AI. So it has all the good stuff, right? And, and differences I don't have to pay for like I did with Zenba. I still want, I still liked doing the Zenba course though, because I had to like actually teach myself programming. Uh, and then now I can actually figure out, you know, what's the uh, uh, what you would call. It. Now that I actually have I'm like more comfortable with coding, you know, I, I can move on to like, you know, it's like okay, let's actually start working on stuff. And then of course after that is Hello and simple welcome. saving load of JSON JSON to a file. That's how you save and load a game. Uh, apparently, a lot of them also do like binary uh, encryption or whatever, but that's pointless because obviously a hacker would still, you know reverse it anyway because it's in binary it's not that hard to convert it especially if you're a hacker so you know the important thing is i just save it in a simple file format and then i have it stored on the secure like playfab server and then good luck to a hacker trying to hack that right so uh so it's good stuff good stuff you know i feel more confident about my game so now i don't have to really give up on it you know so you know we'll, we'll see how it goes you know uh you know, when I have some kind of working prototype game that you can just play single player, right? You know, we'll uh, we'll we'll start adding some a multiplayer and see how it goes. And today they've also uh, released Mountain Blade uh, Banner Lord Two. So uh, you know, I was watching Deadly Slot play. So I'm kind of hoping Forsen is going to play it too. So actually, what is he up to? Forsen Twitch. Oh yeah, that's right. This is Firefox. It doesn't have the thing. Yeah. Let's see. What's he up to? 
Um, come on. Uh, this proxy is so bad. Start watching. Okay. All right. I've lost interest. I'm not watching it yet. All right. So Bitcoin searches have not been released for this week. Cryptocurrency. <clears throat> Let's see, Bitcoin uh, now is at 64.8%. 24-hour volume is still very, what? Hey, this can't, no, this isn't the update. See, this is why I hate Firefox so much. It's such a piece of garbage. It loads this entire page without loading on any of the new information. Oh, God, I really miss Brave, but we can't use it because my fucking tunneling shit doesn't work on there. All right, here we go. I think it's finally loaded. All right. So Bitcoin Dons is at 65.6%. Let's get out of that. 24-hour volume is still pretty low at 114 billion. Bitcoin is at 63.23. So it's actually gone up a little bit because last night, like basically yesterday, the uh, everything was looking kind of bad. It was actually down quite a bit. So it's nice to see it bouncing back up. Uh, leave it to us Westerners to uh, lead the way. All right. Litecoin's at 38.72, so it's also recovered a little bit from yesterday, because yesterday was bad. Um, for some reason, BitChute, as always, just didn't process the video, so I just decided not to upload it, because I just don't give a shit. It's like, BitChute just still is annoying to use. 38.72. And aside, it's not going to be, it's going to be rendered uh, redundant anyway, once, you know, Nick Fuentes and the Gripers, like, fucking tick everything over. Now that we have coronavirus, and it's actually having severely negative impacts on people, um... People are going to reevaluate their globalism and libertarianism uh, outlook in life. So it's uh, everything's going according to plan. And I want to be a little careful, but let's just say a lot of bad people are actually dying from coronavirus. All right. Like, uh, you know, the articles are saying, oh, these are nice people. No, when you actually look at it, no, they were they were uh, uh, they were doing a, the typical bad, evil. Uh, I'm keeping it very. Um, broad so i could avoid getting banned and it doesn't you know but basically uh you know i'm really thinking this could actually be god's wrath you know like this coronavirus shit is no joke so uh yeah so uh just stay home just stay home all right it's exactly like um remember the bible right uh, it was like moses see it's been a while since i watched that movie 10 commands but exactly like what they said like the plague of frogs and the plague of other stuff and then your firstborn well, luckily, the first board stuff's not happening, but this is definitely, like, the plague of whatever. And you'll notice that a lot of, like, shit-lib, you know, degenerate stuff, none of them are able to do anything because of coronavirus. So it really makes you think, like, <laughs> you know, maybe I might need to reevaluate blaming China, right? Because, you know, maybe China is actually doing, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm not going to go any further with the thought because I don't want to get, uh, you know, banned off of YouTube. But I think you all know that, um, uh, whatchamacallit, where I'm headed with this. Now, what's interesting is it's still technically bad car that China did, like, all that, you know, hiding shit, you know, right? Suppressing info when coronavirus was first breaking out, so. Hmm. See, I had to buy this giant-ass plastic bottle, so I to use with my small ass mug because it's like apparently it's how you resist um uh germs and stuff so and i'm drinking from a straw so you know it's like it never creates that mildew because i figured out what it was that prompted me but it was definitely during coronavirus like you know what these germs might be a problem or maybe i was just getting tired sick and tired of like just maybe getting sick <laughs> or feeling a little sick and i figured you know maybe it has something to do with the cup i'm using so uh, then I just simply switch. Oh, also because uh, the Burger King cup I was using uh, actually was made out of supposedly some kind of plastic that if you kept reusing it, uh, it would just degrade over time. You're going to be drinking plastic or some shows. Like, you know what? I You know, it's a Burger King cup. It's probably cheap. You know what? Let's just use the mug. And then, you know, that, that's why the giant fucking annoying bottle. But hey, uh, I do what I have to to maintain my health, especially now, right? Because, like, coronavirus is no joke. Like, a 22-year-old woman who looked pretty healthy, she said she, well, she felt like she almost died, right? Barely could breathe. She didn't even have energy to barely crawl to the bathroom because the coronavirus was that bad, right? It was really shitty for her in the hospital. Um, 
Oh, she's still tweeting, so so obviously she's alive, all right? And she's, you know, and of course, uh, towards the end, she's like, yo, vote for Bernie. I'm like, God. Uh, but, you know, whatever. But she is right about one thing. Yeah, we probably do need some kind of universal health care, right? So I, I'd imagine once conservatives figure out the new ones, that is, uh, figure out something to do with health care, you know, we'll probably just always win. Or it's mostly win. Dog coin is at 221.26 million market cap. So pretty much everything was going down like yesterday, and then now it's going back up. You know, right now I'm happy with just, you know, things being stable. Um, God, this thing is still not updating properly. Um, oh, Steam, uh, 16.56. What's Hive at? Hive.io. Um, Hive.io. Hive, uh, oh man, this is such a pain in the ass. All right. Okay, I know what to do. Uh, Hive. Um, 19.61 cents. So both coins are still going down in value. Okay. Yeah, I mean, you can list your coin on coin market cap, but you won't, you just won't get updated data until you meet like the actual threshold. So that's how coin market caps actually compete against like coin gecko and stuff. Uh, okay, so all right, so this is not an error. Okay, so before when I like checked it like before I started shooting an hour ago, it was at like plus twenty points. Now it's at three fourteen. All right, so this is looking pretty good. It looks like things are actually going up. Uh, as Wall Street eyes coronavirus outbreak. Uh, okay, so so it will be in place for another month. Yeah, you have to do social distancing for another month, but you don't have to shut everything down. I mean, in New York City, in our case, we do have to do that, right? Because it's so extreme, especially considering how deadly it is. Uh, all right, so Microsoft is up. Man, this is down. Remel is also going down. I assume this must finally be uh, the damage from real estate, but we'll take a look at it. It's down 15%. Um, <clears throat> Alrighty, so we already know about that. Uh, I've been redeemed pursuing an accelerator or in process being redeemed. My next article. Uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be anything about Rebel here, right? We already know that they changed the modification to keep it alive, so it's just this is the only good source of for Rebel info. So we'll leave that for the last. FDA approves use of malaria pill for coronavirus, so we're going to read that. So I think maybe that might be why. And of course, this is... I don't know why JMC has a problem on Crex. Um, I'm going to go on Chrome to take a look. we we'll actually turn on my proxy here too. Um, let me see. JMC is at 6 to 7. All right. So there's also been a heavy amount of 404 uh, J uh, Two by two coin activity trade volume too. It's almost a thousand dollars, which is great, of course. Uh, right now, four fourth at six to seven. Uh, two by two is at sixty one to sixty two. But obviously, you get sixty one to sixty, so it's not. You know, are these numbers even? Uh, I really hate having to refresh because it takes so long. This is accurate though. Compound coins continuing to gain strength. Now it's at seventy five oh three. Two basically ninety seven twenty four satoshis of a dog coin. Uh, so yeah, it is six to seven. Okay, so I'm not gonna wait on this. Uh, yep, sixty to sixty-one is the real price of two by two. So compound coin's been doing pretty well. I'm still pretty happy about that. Uh, I'm gonna reload this. I'm gonna turn that off. Oh, I do want to refresh this. All right, so it looks like Trump's still in the lead. So I'll refresh that. And we'll get to it after. Uh, Bitcoin, do, 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 do. first of all, this is wrong, this is from three hours ago because now everything's going up, so uh, bear market over, okay, people need, this is why I really hate this, it's not a bear market, all right, first of all, it was only, it's only been like, what, one, two months, all right, by definition, that cannot be a bear market, it's a correction, I really don't like when people don't use the right um, terminology, all right, it's like, oh, you have cancer, but I really meant you just have the flu. <laughs> it's like, you know, you gotta get the damn terminology right, you know, but that's why I make the big bucks and other people don't, so. Uh, it still doesn't make any less annoying, though. Uh, giveaway per se, my... <laughs> 
your baited scumaz uh, impersonating Bill Gates. <laughs> All right, we're gonna ignore that. Uh, uh, highly unlikely. Yeah, Tony. Eh, whatever. I'm just sick and tired here. Tony Bays. Uh, HSBC tracking 10 million assets using blockchain powered digital vault. Oh, interesting. Ah, so that's why HSBC has been and the banks and the banks are laying off so many uh, workers. They're now using blockchain instead of doing paper records. It's actually pretty good, actually. Oh, yeah, because uh, they've been clo uh, they've been closing a couple branches uh, where I live too. Like a lot of bank branches around where I am, they're just closing. There's only like two left. Like there's a Chase. And I think there's Bank of America, and that's basically it. There's also one by the 7-Eleven with a Santander one bank, too, or Apple Bank or something. I don't know. So it was some, like, not, not like, super-duper big major big bank, but, like, you know, semi-big bank. So, like, we could say, you know, like, not an A-list actor, but, like, a B-plus actor, right? Uh, or video game turns is triple A games, which is like the best, like Grand Theft Auto kind of games. And they have like the double A, even though I never heard of double A games, but it's essentially something like that. Uh, and this is old news. All right, so Daily Hold is just trash. All right, so Trump is still in the lead, fifty cents to forty one. Uh, he went down a little bit, but yeah, I mean, until the until the coronavirus is you know dealt with completely and safely, and we life returns to normal. You know, Trump's still going to be a little, uh, you know, here and there. All right. So FDA approves emergency use of malaria pill for COVID-19. Right. So the FDA has uh, has been, you know, on point, right? Because everyone's just basically breathing down their neck and say, hey, all these dumbass regulations you have, it's killing us. It's literally killing us. Just just lift it or we'll fire you, but maybe put you in jail and replace you. And we're going to keep doing that until someone says, yes, here, here we're going to get rid of the regulations. So obviously the FDA has been, you know, moving uh, ASAP 100,000% speed. So that's good. That's good. The FDA approved a promising malaria jug for emergency use to treat COVID-19. Um, let's see. It said it has accepted 30 million doses of hydrochloroquine sulfate donated by Sandoz and Novartis. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let me do... Um, here we go. Uh, my bit hero said a statement: uh, one million doses of chloroquine phosphate donated by blah blah blah. Okay, so this is the thing. Remember, there was this. I didn't come mention this at all, but apparently, some dumbass couple in Arizona heard Trump say that, and then they drank some sort of like fish cleaning thing that had this chemical, and then her husband died, and then she herself got really sick, and then he, she blamed Trump. It's like. It's fish cleaning. It's like <laughs> so, and, and then the media really hyped it up. It's like uh, I can't say anymore because I don't get banned off of YouTube. But it's like it's not Donald Trump's fault. All right, you know I'll leave it at that. It's uh, you know, uh, all right. Your body produces ammonia. That doesn't mean you can fucking drink ammonia. All right, I bet you didn't know that. Right, your your bladder or something, your stomach produces. Uh, ammonia but you obviously get rid of it when you take a piss that's actually why you ha uh, your body makes it right it's not for drinking it's for get uh, k kicking out right you know it's like geez uh the drug is currently being tested in new york hospitals ah perfect because we really need that shit the drugs effects on patients has res has resulted in a shortage for patients who use it for arthritis a lupus, and there have been reports of hoarding among medical professionals. Several states recently took steps to limit the number of prescriptions still by forcing increased accountability of who is prescribing the drug and why. Oh, yeah, because I assume the doctors or nurses are starting to get scared. So I, I understand that. Like, I read that they, uh, a New York nurse recently died or something like that, or her brother died, who was also a medical professional. No, he was also a nurse. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, I mean, he died from coronavirus. It tends to donate up to blah, 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 blah. Okay, so they're supplying us a shit ton of doses. Good. Uh, Bayer announced it would donate 3 million doses. Uh, HHS Rear Drug is still only anecdotal evidence to support its efficacy. Yeah, so the FDA is just desperate. Okay. I, I, we're fine with that. I mean, people are dying. So either you take it, then you have a chance, or nothing. So obviously they're going to take the drug. Anecdotal reports suggest that these drugs may offer some benefit in the blah, blah, blah. Clinical trials are needed to provide scientific evidence that these treatments are effective. Well, you have perfect scientific evidence, right? It's going to be uh, tested live on people actually hospitalized. 
uh, and then just use that as part of your data set. Because I don't think we can actually start giving placebo pills, because obviously the person is dying from coronavirus, so they need the actual fucking drug. So you can't do you can't do um, placebo pills. So that's probably what they mean here. Uh, let's see, preclinical studies and analysis, as well as the first test for clinical studies, show that hydrochloroquine does actually kill the coronavirus. So they do have something to work with. Uh, and he told the German newspaper, um, okay, because I assume you can give the animals coronavirus and then you give some the placebo and then others the actual thing. So, okay, so that's good. Trump touted the drug's efficacy based on anecdotes. Meanwhile, at the Fauci, Hascosha gets promoting unpromoting unproven medical treatments. Okay, so let's see what the idiots in the comment section say. Not a doctor, but with lupus patients regularly getting a strong. Are lupus patients getting COVID nineteen? I know that I only had four months to think about this. So, what? Uh, okay. They are paying a little bit of the drug. Companies that make it should set something on the for now. You supply the current uptake. Okay. Uh. Okay. So these people don't realize how deadly fucking coronavirus is. Like, you know, if you're hospitalized with it, you know, it's really bad. Uh, how do you get taking hey, hydrochloroquine does it? This is why patients recover quickly after taking it. Oh, wow. So zinc is actually what's stopping it. Well, that's good. Oh, that's actually good because I have my ZMA supplements and that has zinc, right? Zinc, magnesium, and I forgot what the A stands for. Uh, okay. All right. So, all right. Interesting. All right. So people are just arguably... Uh, it, you know, it, it, does it work? Does it not work? It's like, dude, it's like, you know, they, they're acting exactly like my ex atheist friend. It's like, everything must be questioned. It's like, dude, just fucking try it. And then let's see if it fucking works. All right. You know, it's, it's not complicated. All right. Lupus. I don't know what lupus is. I know like, but like, you know, if it's not like an immediate threat to a person's life, then fucking to give it to the coronavirus people. It's all about prioritizing who gets what, you know? So, uh, okay. Da -da -da. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. All right. So it's just some Trump bashers and Trump supporters. So I'll let them duke it out. All right. So let's see. Uh, where are we at? All right. Uh, hold on. Let me do more bit heroes. All right. So I mean, I still want to keep uh, today's videos so much short so let's see i mean now that we see that things are going pretty well uh just gotta find what's happening i mean let's see today's the 30th april 1st is this wednesday so that's when rent is due so that's when we're going to see the real effects of people defaulting on rent payments so that's going to have obviously negative effect on uh real estate so that's probably why a rental is going down right now uh also it's been going up and down like crazy so who knows what the hell the real price is all right uh let's see may the thing have been accelerated some of the remaining 2x etns may represent opportunities but i was only assume the inherent risk loss rebounds the event provision some ETN can reduce the risk of mandatory it's possible from the effects of the pandemic receipt and collect very high uh okay uh after march 31st i will include an estimate of the 2020 dividend for credit suzy remel i would personally prefer the uh, credit suzy just simply didn't pay anything right because i don't care right the problem is, apparently, if you do that, that also tanks the stock, too. So it's kind of like caught between a rock and a hard place. Uh, so, you know, it's, uh, yeah. But then if you pay out, then you, that's less money to, to weather the storm, you know. But then, again, I'm hoping the, the bailout will do something. <clears throat> um, Post-mortem, we don't care. I mean, they're dead, so whatever um excuse me uh blah 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 you guys extracts well fargo blah 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 yeah i don't care i mean they're dead so whatever for those who may not know what worked out every one of my two x etns suffered massive losses during the coronavirus yep my next article will be uh blah blah blah, blah, blah. well i mean it's pretty simple we used 2x leverage and then we got blown up <laughs> that's that's pretty much it that's why going forward you know i'm going to just dump all my stocks in 2024 and then forget the fucking scam stock market if i took all the money that i had and not put it in the stock market and then bought in either basically today or just put it into crypto i would have been so much better off right 
Uh, instead, I'm down thirty-five thousand. I might be down potentially. Uh, oops, wrong one. Uh, how much did I put in? Fifty-five hundred or seven thousand dollars in fucking Rimmel. In, ca in case the worst thing uh, happens, Credit Susie has to close us for whatever reason because they do have a mandatory <coughs> redemption clause. But so far, they look like they've been fighting pretty hard to keep it alive. So, uh, unlike fucking piece of shit UBS, where it's like, yeah, we don't care. Goodbye. Right, and uh, you know, that's what happens. Uh, factory balancing to maintain the two equilibrium only occurred once a month was not an issue. However, the severe decline during March 2020 effectively increased the leverage dramatically. Okay, um, I ran my moral from peak price, da, 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 over here, moral fell. Uh, okay, the enter gave. Crit Susie an option but not a requirement to wipe out Remo once it's indicated asset value. Okay, so it's an option, not a requirement. Much to its credit, see, uh, Crit Susie suspended the application of the requirement, provided. Okay, uh, thus the indicator are still for how we can published according to the formula, but with regard to. Or, Trey, you has no choice. Okay, so apparently because of the way they did, did it, UBS said they had no choice but to accelerate while Credit Susie has the option. SMHB does still exist. UBS did not accelerate SMHB. The integer gave you a better right to accelerate. Valid touch to you. Or, uh, da, 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 da. We'll accelerate the future. Reason for that is the loss of rebalancing event provision and blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, UBS just fuck UBS. Um, okay. I'm not reading all of this. I just want to get to the point. Holders of Rebel and SMHB are still on still face pilot further losses. Uh, I don't care about the further losses. What I care about is, will it be mandatory redeemed and will it go to zero and be forced to sell at zero? That's what we care about. Because this is, uh, you know, shit goes down, you know, who cares, right? And we've been doing cryptocurrency for a long time, right? I mean, does anyone still remember when Bitcoin was 24 or 2,900 bucks last year? I do. Or was it two years ago? <laughs> so... Uh, book value, maybe they're definitely trading deep discounts. Da, 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 da. Um, okay, we know that some of their books hit, hit from basis moves, futures to shorts, uh, game, blah 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 blah. Okay, so something about short term interest rates here, treasuries. Okay, uh, after provision, I'm looking for other that have now important provision. The overall decline in equity markets. Da, 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 da. Well, it looks is just the extracts monthly pay. Uh, wow, forty-one point eight three percent. U.S. two X leverage, high dividend, low volatility ETN. Uh, it is down fifty seven cents. Hmm. By current methodology, Rebel is still 143.22. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. He sounds like. Um, okay. I don't care about the dividend. Conclusion and recommendations. Oh my God. All right. We're almost to the end. Uh, there are 12 non-energies. Well, typically called dividends. Da, 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 America. First multi-family, uh, we'll pay dividends for X220, okay. How's the current yield? Uh, dividends are still uncertain. D -d 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 -d. Oh wait, oh, I skipped over it. Um, for investors team, actually current crypto losses prior to DDD regarding the MIT, the decline in prices, rev oh, the heat's on, what a shock. So yeah, the macro is still fair MRT, especially around. The question is whether these existing things will be better or the new career will be better for you. I'm still being a time buyer and still have been buying Wow, he's still buying Remel right now. Um my concern is that recently Remel has been trading above net value, Remel Color 3, which was a premium over the indicator value. And generally, however, paid 125 Remel recently, then close to zero has turned out alright so far. I saw Tender Environment buying SMHD again. I'll be more confident if the book values. Uh, I mean, if I'm going to buy, I would just buy more Remel, all right? Because I can't trust uh, UBS. So I'm still looking to buy. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, you know, if I were buying that much, I would just rather buy cryptocurrency. Like, 
Yeah, this this, this stuff is already pretty pretty nuts. Very nice. Right, I took a gamma acceleration because the value of the d uh, d. Okay. Uh, I wouldn't touch extracts for now. I own YYY, AMZA, and sold them. They return too much capital as payouts. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I'm already stuck with AMZA, so yeah, yeah that's gone. Uh, I still have Orc. They're okay. Uh, okay, well, aside from this, there doesn't seem to be anything nuts, so we're just going to leave this as the thumbnail for the video. Where are we at? 30 minutes. So, uh, yeah, um, let's take a look. Let's see. Yeah, even RF is taking a hit today, too. You know, I use this to wipe my, scratch my face while I use a blow my nose. So. Mm. All right, at this point, if I start running out of nap, I mean, I've got plenty of napkins, but... I have to start using my paper towels to blow my nose. Uh, let's see. Wow, 700,000 cases globally. Um, well, let's hope that this malaria pill really helps a lot and starts to accelerate. Because one way you could kind of tell that this works in humans, even though it'll be anecdotal, is does it accelerate the recovery time? And does it do it consistently across all age groups? Or maybe some groups, right? You know, you need something to be able to measure it since you don't have... A placebo pill to work with to really do an actual scientific test so uh so let's just see okay we know what the average recovery time is you know some take two weeks some take three weeks but this malaria pill right the hydrochloroquine thing right does it reduce it by three days does it reduce it by seven days does it reduce it by two weeks that's something you can measure right if it's reduced by one two days yeah i mean it's just gonna be hard to measure that but three days or more you know, then you're actually working with something, right? Because obviously there's going to be more people with fucking coronavirus as we do more testing. And people who are recovering and dying from that shit. So, yeah. So anyway, uh, Rebels tanking. Uh, man, that is just not good. Um, it's tanking pretty bad. Uh, let me see. Tools. Uh, recent past week. Uh, this is the only thing here, so I don't know. Uh, for now, I'm not going to be buying anything. Uh, I might eye a Rimmel to buy again, but it's going to have to be really cheap, and at that point, it's probably going to be higher risk. And I mean, at that point, I might not even buy because it'll probably just be... Um, I mean, I'm going to guess it has to do with rent, right? Because, again, rent's due in two days. Uh, you're going to have a lot of problems, and people are now pricing that in, so we'll see. Because right now, everything's going up, so this is going down. So I think it's just fundamentals pricing uh, pricing itself in, so we'll we'll see what happens with Remmel, but it looks pretty bad, but I'm, I'm not going to buy. Pending home sales trend higher before... Oh, okay, yeah. So anyway, if you like what you saw, read right or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching this from. Or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash, uh, oh my god, this fucking bit heroes. Uh, or for where you're watching this from, or on my YouTube's at youtube.com forward slash JMC Radio. Make sure you smash that subscribe button on the right hand side of this page so that we can uh, continue growing this channel. All right, so I'm done for the day. Uh, I want to get it on with my day, you know, relax, maybe watch some more Banner Lord, right? And then, you know, do other stuff. And then, of course, you know, get ready to do a little more programming. So, all in all, pretty good. As long as the stupid fucking markets finally, you know, get its act together, right? At least the stock markets are doing well. The bailout's are already on its way, right? Um, it's just a matter of time. And then, I don't know, I just have to hope that Remmel can, um, can hold. I mean, I'm a little tempted to buy, but I mean, you know, two dollars and ch high two dollars and change is a lot, and on top of it, this thing is already tanking like crazy. I don't know, man. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna need to I'm, I'm gonna need to oh, I'm just gonna wait. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna do anything. All right, see you next video tomorrow. That is thanks, Jensen Chan, JMC Coin, four hundred four Coin, and I really hope that this malaria. I mean, I think this pill probably does work, um, but I'll probably. Uh, We'll have to see. We'll, we'll definitely know. We'll definitely know.